Hey everyone, here's a question from exercise 4.1. This is first question. Chapter is basic geometrical ideas of a class X. The question is use a figure to name. There are four questions here. This is a figure given to us. The first one is five points. So what are points here? Points are nothing but are dots which are used to determine the location. So you can see that in this figure we have a, um, like many dots. You can see this is a dot as dot is shown like this with a capital letter and like D E O C B all are the example of dots here. You can see a dotted sign is given on this here like this and they are represented with a capital letter. So D E O C and B all these are the example of the five points. So the answer will be D E O C and B. And then the next question in the next one, we have given a line. So, what do we mean by line? A line is nothing but it it has it can be extended from both the side. Like suppose this is a, a line and it will gonna have a two arrows. So, arrow shows that this can be extended endlessly in both the direction. And there will be points on the lines. We usually use a point to represent the line here. You can see that here we have a D and E. And D and E both are the points of this line. Yeah, so we can say that D E is a line because D and E are the points of this line. So we can write down D E. So D E is one such example. So in the question, they have not given that we should write this many lines or this many points. They have not mentioned. So we're going to use a four different uh, lines in, and then I will write down etc. Because we can write down many here. And remember that you should also put this uh, line symbol on top of DE. It represents that we're talking about the line. And the next we have E and O. E and O are both also on the same line. So we can write it as E O. And top you should write down like this. And next we have from O and B. Both are on the same line. So OB on top of that you put this. So talking about this line here. And then we can have EB. So there are many possibilities. I'm just writing four down here. So EB are also on this list. So we can say EB. We can you can also write down OC because okay it, uh, we cannot write down OC because OC O is on a is a point on a one line and uh, C is on another ray. So we cannot write down that. So we can also write down DO because D and O are a point on the same line. So I'm gonna write down DO here. And I want to just write down etc. because we can write down more. And the next question here we have to write down four rays. Now, what is ray? Ray is actually a portion of the line. So, ray will going to have a one end point and a point which can be extended, right? Suppose this is A and B. So, A is a starting point, it is an end point, okay? We cannot extend from A, but we can extend from B. So A will be the sorting point and B is a point where we, we can able to extend it. So it will become AB, ray AB. On ray also we are going to put this arrow like this. Okay. So they are asking us to find, write down four rays here. They have given four ray. So we can take DB. Now why I said DB here? Because this is a line and I said that ray is a part of a line. Now we can, it can be extended from here, but this can also be a starting point from D to B and from B we can be, it can be extended. So in this case, D will become a starting point and B will be a point which can be extended. So DB is a one example. You can add on many, many more. It's completely on you. And next one, same way. We can write down EB because E is a point on this line and E can become my starting point and B is a point which can be extended. So this will be EB. And next you can write down OB. You can write down OC. Okay, O is a starting point and from towards the C it is extending. So next will be OC. Now the last question is five line segment. Now what are line segment? Line segment are the one which has a two fixed points. And um, here in this question you can see that uh, EO is can become a line segment. EO EO is here E and O. Though this is a line, 
and line segment can be part of a line. So EO is a line segment, E and O will be the fixed points here. So you can write down EO, so let me write down fourth answer here. So EO and when you're representing a line segment, you should just draw a one line without arrows. And next you can see a DO, right? DO is also a line segment. You can write down DE and you can write down, uh, you can also write down OC. Okay, I'm just stopping with four. So that's it, I hope it's clear. So line segments, we have not given uh, any line without a uh, arrow here, but we can take a line segment from a line and line segment is nothing but which has a two, two fixed point, it cannot be extended. So if I take a EO, so EO will be my line segment, that's it. So I'm not putting any arrows here. This will be EO. Suppose I'm doing a DO, so DO will be like this without an arrow, that's it. So I hope this question is clear. In case you have further question or doubt, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.